OCR GCSE in Computing, J275, Unit A451, 2.1.1 Fundamentals of a Computer System Hello guys, it's GCSE Revision here and today I'm bringing you the fourth part to the Fundamentals of a Computer System playlist which is the Computer Output. Now this video should follow Computer Processing which followed Computer Input which looks at the input processing and and now finally we're going to be looking at output now to see how a computer works taking input data processing it and today we'll be knowing how it outputs it now the learning objectives are to know what an output is to give some examples of outputs and to know what an output does with its data computer output now the definition of an output is the stage where information obtained via processing is presented to the user in suitable format this way, the output takes the digital data that's been processed and presents it as a physical effect so the user can sense it. So this may be that the output output something that we can see, for example, an image on a monitor, something we can hear, say a, a ringtone through a phone, something we can touch, a vibration through a phone, something we can um, taste, or really any sense, any of the five senses humans can have. A output is what outputs out of an electronic device, specifically a computer system, that the user can then interpret. So as opposed to input, the output takes the digital data that's been put into the computer, which has already been converted as a second step, and then takes out a physical effect which the user can then um, interpret for him or herself. Examples of output: an alarm for a fire that has been that has detected smoke. This way, when the alarm senses the smoke, the smoke being the input, the computer system in the alarm processes the fact that there's been smoke, and the output is the sounding of the bell. A digital display on the time on the digital watch. The input being the time that's going, processing the time to be able to output it is the processing and then the output is the actual digits on the watch as shown here. More examples of output. Another example which is probably the most popular one is a monitor displaying an, ele displaying an electronic image. Similarly speakers playing audio. Now a monitor can display the image as the hardware reads the data and turns on the correct amount of coloured pixels on the screen. This is something that we're going to be looking at in more detail later on in the course, so I'll save the explanation for that for another day. And speakers playing audio. The analog sound system in the speakers takes the inputted data and then the sort of padding on the inside of the speaker moves up and down in certain ways for, to move the air in a certain way to then be able to cause sound to be generated. Now the data is given to the speakers through the sound card which is another item of the computer system that we're going to be looking at later in the hardware topic. Questions. So we're reaching the end of the video. I hope you've made good notes because here are some quick questions and whenever you're ready pause the video to do them on a piece of paper or in your workbooks and then simply press play whenever you're ready and you can move on to the answers. Right here are your answers. Um, if you've got all three of them, very well done. That's brilliant, 100% ready for that A star. You can move on to the next lesson. If you only got two or one, then maybe I'd head back and go through the video, see if you can find the correct answers. And yeah, whenever you're ready, you can move on to the next video in the playlist. So thank you for listening, guys. This is the end of this lesson. And next lesson, we're going to be looking at the hardware and software aspects of a computer, which is part 5 of 2.1.1, the fundamentals of a computer system. So until then, like and subscribe for more videos that may be on, that may be um, lessons that you may want to be doing. And check out my channel, because on the channel there's going to be plenty of different subjects, which you may or may not be doing for GCSE, um, but the chances are you're going to have many on there. I'm covering from 8 to 10 topics at the moment. In the future, there's going to be a lot more. So check it out. Find any of your subjects that you want to revise in and get revising and go get those grades. So until then, see ya.